What's up guys, Zach Hample here with you and I gotta start this video by reading a very heartfelt comment that someone recently posted here for me on YouTube. Ready? This channel would be cool if the host wasn't such a idiot. And so my response to Arens123 is that I've been thinking about your comment a lot and I want you to know just for you moving forward, I'm gonna try to be less of a idiot. I hope you appreciate the effort. And so a comment like that can only mean one thing. We are back with another installment of mean comments and tweets. This is now part two, which I guess officially makes it a series. In case you missed it, part one, I filmed that one a little more than a year ago. I'll link to it in the description for this video. And part one itself got a bunch of nasty comments. You can see a few right here. People were insulting the way I roasted. They didn't like my comebacks, my clapbacks. They were making fun of my appearance, of course, because that's the internet, that's how it works. But that first video got 57,000 views. So I guess I did something right, which is why we're gonna keep this thing going. So let's get right back to it. Zach Hample looks like a cancer survivor. Wow, okay. So my dad died from cancer. I know what cancer looks like. Are you saying that about me because I shaved my head? I don't have any hair? I'm bald? <laughs> you bald f says Corbin. So Corbin, I'll have you know that there is a portion of the population that finds bald men to be quite attractive. I'd have to agree. Here are a few more comments about my appearance. There's something wrong with this guy's face. He looks like a total head, along with your nose is fatter than my girlfriend's ass and that's hard to do. And you know, I think it's interesting that these two people who insulted the way I look aren't even showing everybody how they look. They don't have thumbnail pictures of themselves up on their YouTube channels. Hmm. Red Sox Daily News 34 says, this is a comment from Instagram, at Zach Hample, I'm going to sh on all your baseballs. So okay, I did the math, crunched the numbers, and I want you to know that I own so many baseballs that you're gonna have to do nothing with your life for three and a half years but sh on all of my baseballs in order to cover them all. So I hope you've canceled your plans and I hope you're up for the challenge. No offense, but you may be the biggest retard ever, but for real, no offense. Okay, no offense taken. I have no reason to hate you. All you do is catch baseballs, but for some reason, I still hate you. Here's an idea. You keep on hating, and I'll keep on living large. So I guess the 40-year-old virgin is a true story after all. That comment got 260 likes. Seriously, guys? And here's a similar one from Angry Mariners fan who said, the Mariners lost, and I blame you, virgin. <laughs> so, all right, you wanna talk about your crappy Mariners team for a second? Here's what you should do. Go back through all the years, look at the team's one lost record, okay? Look at 1997 in particular, because that's the year that I had my first long-term committed girlfriend. So while I was just getting started doing my thing with her, your crappy team actually wasn't so crappy that year. They won 90 games. Look it up, 1997, they went 90 and 72. So really, rather than insulting my personal life, you should be rooting for me, and thanking me and congratulating me because when I do well, your team does well. You don't know anything about baseball, so that's why you search up the player's name on Google. DJK in the house, you got me, man. You're right, I know nothing about baseball. Guy's annoying, all he does is annoy all the MLB players. Come on, no I don't. I'd say at most I only annoy like 75 to 80% of them, all right? Please get out of my ballpark at Zach Hample. So Harry Yeprim Jr. is self-described as a professional grouch, so I almost take his insult as a compliment. But yo, Jr., if you want me to get out of your ballpark, you gotta be more specific. Otherwise, how do I know which ballpark to get out of? Here's a comment from MF who says, you're a fucking asshole and deserve to be banned from attending any MLB games for the rest of your life. Oh, we got a bad MF right here. Watch out, folks. So first of all, no, I don't deserve it. Secondly, it's not gonna happen. And third, even in your wet dreams, if I were to get banned, no big deal. I'll just go watch baseball in Japan. Even Japan hates you. 
Really? Are you sure about that? Yo, Zach, I recommend acting like an adult. It is pretty fulfilling to finally grow a pair and stop acting like a little kid. Good luck. So you mean acting like an adult, being like a really boring troll on the internet? That's your idea of adulthood? In that case, I'll pass. I'm good. I wish you'd STFU, you probably make out with your sister. <laughs> Dylan Wright, I can assure you that my sister does not want to make out with me. She is actually gay, she only dates women. So, you know, as many times as I've tried to make out with her, it's just, it's not meant to be. This guy obviously has no job and some type of mental disorder. Um, so let me get this straight. Um, if getting paid to film YouTube videos and work with sponsors and travel the world to go to baseball games qualifies as a mental disorder and no job, then congrats, you have correctly diagnosed me. You have an insanely sad life, says Jeremy Ziegler, who has a picture of a fake girl on his profile. Yeah, you know, you're right. This is insanely sad. Nerd, you're trash. You spelled you're wrong. You a jackass, you fake, twat, that's articulate. Guys, that's the best you got, these short little pathetic dull insults. Can't you come up with something a little better, more interesting, longer? Okay, I think I kind of have to stand on my tippy toes for this one. I don't know if I'm gonna read the whole thing, but uh, it starts, he a straight up dickhead, what a fucking loser, blah, 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 something about the Phillies. Then I'm gonna highlight a part down a bit. It says, we would have beat the shit out of him from his stadium seat to his car seat, space, period, space. People would have been catching his teeth as souvenirs as they fly through the air after we, space, space, continue to punch the shit out of him. Yeah, you know what, okay. First of all, I mean, I gotta give you some credit. That is a little bit creative, catching teeth like baseballs, ha ha. But threatening violence is no joke. Stay classy, Philly. And also, to this person in particular, I suggest you spend less time on the internet being rude and trolling people and maybe more time back in school learning how to use commas and periods. This whole, like, we're just gonna circle them here. The whole space, comma, space, space, period, space thing. You didn't even put a period at the very end. Yeah, congrats for showing the entire world what an idiot you are. You responding to these comments makes you seem like a bigger dick than you are. Just read them, don't comment back. You calling other people idiots back because they spelled something wrong or had bad grammar is just as bad as what they did. So, first of all, no it's not. Secondly, in the first sentence when you said then, it should have been the word than. That's pretty dumb. And then in the second sentence, you misspelled grammar. Are you kidding me? Dude, if you guys are gonna come at me, you better bring your A-game. A-Rod was right, what a douchebag. So wait, let me just get this straight for a second. A-Rod, you mean the A-Rod who cheated and got busted for cheating and then denied cheating, sued Major League Baseball, sued the Players Association, sued the Yankees team doctors, sued New York Presbyterian Hospital, and sued the Columbia University Medical Center? That A-Rod? Yeah, I'm not really too concerned about what someone like that says, but A-Rod and I are fine. We had a press conference together at Yankee Stadium in 2015. I gave him the baseball from his 3,000th career hit and the children's baseball charity that I support got a $150,000 donation from the Yankees. So, you know, A-Rod, he's had his problems, but he's bounced back. I got no problem with him. He's got no problem with me. Bro, you're gay. No one wants to hear you talk about it. Go shove some more baseballs up your ass. F wow, all right, so we're getting into some real bigoted hate speech here, huh? Some homophobia. Um, unfortunately, this was just the beginning of it. Check this out. You are gay, go to hell. This man looks like a queer. Baseballs aren't the only balls you like in your hands. Zach acts gay and stupid. You're so gay, just shut up. Get a fucking job and get off YouTube, you gay and that still wasn't it. Check this out. 
Here's actually kind of a nice comment from Frosty Mars who says, why do you not post your vid sooner? It's been like five days since your last video. Fair enough, sometimes it does take me a while, but check out the response to this one. Frosty Mars, he is busy at gay NYC clubs and does not have time to edit. So, all right, just a little real talk here for a second. Hate speech has absolutely no place in our society and certainly not here on my YouTube channel. And on the topic of homophobia in particular, since that's what we're dealing with, if anybody watching this has a problem with gay people, then you have a problem with me because I have relatives who are gay, I have friends who are gay, I support the gay community, the entire LGBTQ community. So you can take that hate somewhere else. In fact, I want you to take it somewhere else. Please unsubscribe from my channel immediately if you have a problem with gay people and don't come back. You are not welcome here. I said the same thing in part one of my mean comments and tweets. And not surprisingly, there were a bunch of nasty comments in response to that. Look at this. I unsubscribed, I can't believe you talked about gay people being okay, see ya, and to think I have been watching you for one year. Well, Grant Cornett, I hope that what you said is true. I hope that you really did unsubscribe because I never want to see you or think about you again. You're garbage. Another one from Tom S who said, had to unsub, this N-word likes gays. So congrats for using hate speech against two different groups in the span of seven words. Absolutely disgusting. Moving on, you give all Zach spelled with a K a bad name. We're supposed to be the cool ones, ya douche. Well, uh, Zach Oliver, we are the cool ones. You're the exception. And from what I can see of your Twitter handle, you give everyone named Trout a bad name. Get off my Twitter feed. F-U Zach Hamill. All right, um, well, this person spelled both of my names wrong, so they're clearly not talking about me. F you, Zach Hample. F you, Zach Hample, you baby back bitch. F Zach Hample. And one from Twitter, seriously, at Zach Hample. F off. That last one coming from Cincy Group Therapy, which just makes me think, man, I hope that doesn't mean that you actually run group therapy. I hope it means that you're in therapy because you seriously need it. And finally, you can be annoying at times, but that doesn't take away from how entertaining your videos are. Well, JetsBoy80, I would assume that all the hate that you deserve for being a Jets fan would be even more annoying, but I don't follow football, that's just my assumption. But as for the second part of what you said, that's nice of you, I appreciate it. I try my best to be entertaining, hopefully this video was, and that's where we're gonna wrap it up. So yeah, I'm coming to you from beautiful Aruba here, a nice family vacation. I don't know if it'll be my next video or maybe two videos from now, but I will have a vlog for you from here, along with lots more videos during the season, opening day for Major League Baseball is right around the corner. As always, guys, keep the comments coming, not so much the bad comments. If you say something really awful, I will block you, but you know, the questions are great. I'll throw those in the Q&A videos and just the comments overall, much more positive than negative. These that I showed in this video, that's the exception to the rule. Just wanted to have some fun with it. And since I do get paid for YouTube, I made money off this video. So all the haters out there, thank you for contributing to my wealth. I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's it, I'm out.